how to play Ubisoft games on Steam Remote Play. If you aren't familiar with Steam Remote Play, you can play your game. You can run your game on a computer uh, in the next room or somewhere else in the house and play on another computer. Be it a TV, be a computer near the TV, so you can play on the TV or on a low-powered computer somewhere else in the house. The problem with playing Ubisoft games is that unlike normal games that run from a uh, normal executable, like this Anno 1800 for example, runs from this uh, weird URL, so you can't add this game uh, to S Steam. I'll show you the normal way to do Steam Remote Play with a non-Steam game. That way does not work with uh, you playing origin games, unfortunately, because some of them run from these weird URLs and not from a standard executable. So, uh, let's open up Steam and I'll show you how to do the normal way. Okay, and, and now that we've got Steam open up, I'll show you how to add a non Steam game uh, to run on uh, Steam Remote Play the normal way. I, if it's a normal executable, just browse over here and just add a non Steam game. And let's say, let's add. Uh, Let's put some like uh, Europa Universalis, and you can add the selected program. Now we'll show up here. Europa shows up, and now I'll go to go back to my uh, client PC and uh, look over here. And this is my client PC. The the st I installed the game on my main uh, computer tower. Tower computer. This is my laptop, and I'll just go over to my library, and uh, you can see Europa shows up. Euro Europa shows up here. You can start the stream from here, but this only works because and I'll click on this just to show you, show you that it works, and. Uh, uh, sometimes. Uh, uh, the game needs uh, admin permission, so just enable those. And so sometimes this might happen when running non-Steam games. A lot of times this happens, so make sure you run this Steam as administrator on your main tower so that this doesn't happen. Just gonna close Europa on my main computer and uh, Relaunch Steam as uh, administrator. Make sure you close Steam first before you run that run run it as an administrator. Just close down Steam, then search for Steam, run as administrator, and this time I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. This is the normal way that you can launch games which aren't uh, weird URL schemes, which use weird URL schemes like uh, Uplay and maybe Origin as well. So let's go back to my laptop and search for Europa, Europa Universalis. And let's on stream it this time. And this time I'm, I'm positive that'll work. And sure enough, it worked. Now I'm playing uh, Europa on my laptop, but the game's actually executing on my uh, main tower in the room next door. So I'm just going to close out of the game, and I'll show you this is just closing, closed out of the game, and I'll try the same technique on the Uplay game and show you that uh, it does not work. Let's go back. To the tower. I'm using real VNC to remote into that computer, but you don't have to worry about that. You can just run over to your other computer. Now I'm going to add Anno 1800 and add a non Steam game. Let's browse. Let's head over to the desktop and try to add that game. And 
desktop. Uh, look at Anno 1800. Open. Catastrophic failure. Doesn't work. Another uh, technique that I've seen is you add uh, origin as the game. Origin as a game, rename it to Anno 1800, then pass in an argument which tells Origin to open up uh, uh, the game. That way you can add Anno 1800 to Steam, but it, uh, Remote Play does not work. So I'm not going to show you that technique. So if you just want to add the Anno 1800 or a Uplay game into Steam so that you can launch it from the Steam launcher, that way it could work, but you can't run remote play that way. The workaround for this is to is quite clever. You just open up, you just search for notepad and uh, just uh, open file location and just copy this here. It's called copy notepad and what you're going to do is add notepad as a non-steam game. And go to browse and you can just paste it in here and select this and add it. I've already added notepad so I'm not going to do it again but that way it will show up here and if you go over here you can type in notepad and you can see, you can see notepad shows up as a game and you can launch it from here. Let's go back to my laptop and you can see Notepad. I'm just going to type in Notepad, and I'm going to stream Notepad right now. And Notepad should open up. Uh, and you press the F1 key on your keyboard. Uh, now you have uh, now pressing the F1 key launches a help window in Microsoft Edge or your default browser. Uh, that way, you can you're out into the desktop of the uh, tower computer and now you can can be sure not and then you can click here on the uh, edge of the taskbar that will show you the, your desktop and you can launch Anno 1800 from there and it should launch and you are now playing uh, Anno 1800 or you can use this for any uh, you play games or origin games and use this uh, weird URL scheme to launch the game. This works for any game, but uh, you don't have to do it for normal games. So this is how you do it, and uh, Anno should open up. Okay. And you can see you can launch the game. I'm just going to load up my last save. I'll show it's working. Now it's streaming via remote play, or previously known as Steam in Home Streaming, from my tower in the Rex next room to my laptop. Game's running on my tower, my powerful tower in the other room, and I'm running the game. I'm playing this game on my crappy laptop from 2013. You can see it's running at 50 frames per second, and that is, and it's extremely, extremely playable. My nietos are growing strong. I'm just gonna close out. Uh, that ends the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can monetize my channel. Please uh, like the video, comment if you have any questions, and uh, stay awesome.